Hi, I'm Robert Galarowicz, naturopath, nutritionist, and more importantly, I've been through every phase of kidney problems, every stage, so I know what it's like, and I've been living with someone else's kidney. I've had a kidney transplant for 18 years now. And this is my channel where I provide good things to help you support kidney health with things that are within your means, things that you can go out there, make changes, purchase, and to help support good kidney health. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're talking about flavonoids. Okay, flavonoids are plant nutrients. And these are in a class called polyphenols. And when you eat plants, you get these nutrients. And they showed in a variety of research how they're very beneficial for kidney health. Okay, it really helps support good kidney health. So I'm referencing a study. This is Flavonoids in Treatment of Chronic Kidney Diseases, the Journal of Molecules. That was uh, 2022, looks like. I think it was March. I think it was April, but just search that if you want to read about it. It was this year. And they talk about flavonoids and how they have so many good properties for people that have kidney issues. They're anti-diabetic, okay? So they help people that have diabetic nephropathy. Uh, anti-hypertensive, so they can help your blood pressure. They're anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, so so many good things they do. Now this piece of research talks about supplements, okay, supplements that are flavonoids. Uh, we're not gonna get into that. In another video I will, I wanna talk about foods, okay, because so this is a ranking of foods from high to low that have different flavonoids in them and the types of flavonoids that there are. And I'm gonna read through these foods because having more of these foods in a kidney diet can really help support your renal health. And these are all healthy, good foods. The only thing is you may have to watch the potassium on some of them. I'm gonna exclude the really high potassium ones, but if you um, really, really have to watch potassium, you just wanna double check all these. So they have a couple categories here. Let's start with the first one, anthocyanin. So this is a type of flavonoid, okay? Very, very good for the body, very good for your kidneys. Elderberry juice is the highest amount. So this is ranked from high to low. So as I read these, uh, the first ones in the category will be the highest down to the least. Elderberry juice, very high in potassium. Uh, bilberries, chickpeas, black currants, American bilberries, blackberries, red currants, red cabbage, raspberries, red bilberries, strawberries, and pecans. Okay, so that's from high to low. Next category is flavanols. That's green tea and black tea, the two highest. And I talk about these teas in other videos. So good for your kidneys, for any type of kidney disease, chronic kidney disease. Uh, we have here blackberries, cooked broad beans, pecans. Again, this is another category, so some of the foods will repeat. Uh, we have apples and peaches. Okay, love apples on a kidney diet. I love apples. I have one just about every day. Okay, this next category is flavonones. So from high to low, we have fresh capers, dried parsley. We have rocket lettuce, which I'm not even sure of. I don't know how available that is. Uh, red onions, goji berries, fresh cranberries, cooked asparagus, black currants. Okay, so that's one category. The next one, flavones. And here we have, got just turn this around a bit, dried parsley, dried oregano, fresh parsley. So dried seasonings are generally really good with kidney disease. I use a lot of dried seasonings in my cooking. Uh, looks like we got some green peppers, celery, chicory. Not too many people use chicory, but um, if that's something in your diet, that's great. And so we have our last category here. Um, has a little repeat of some of these, but lemons and limes, oranges, really high up there, lemons, limes, and oranges. So those are all the foods, okay, that you can incorporate in your kidney diet that can provide those flavonoids, okay, really good, healthy polyphenols, good plant nutrients for your kidneys. You can rewatch the video again to get those on our website. We put the dictation of this video on there so you can see a listing also of all those foods. So check out our other videos if you have it. And to your best kidney health, everyone. Bye.